In this video, we will show you how to install and register Venue Magic, and then do a quick rundown on some of the components of the Venue Magic main screen. If you download the Venue Magic software from the Venue Magic website, what you receive is a compressed zip file. Inside the zip file is a folder which you should extract to your desktop or some other folder. Inside the folder are the following files the setup program, installer data, and the Venue Magic manual in PDF form, which you will need the Adobe PDF Reader to open. If you don't have the Adobe Reader, here's a link to where you can download and install it. It is not necessary for you to install Adobe Reader at this time because the video tutorials do not require it. Double click on the setup program to begin the setup process and follow the instructions on the installer window to complete the software installation. If the installation is successful, you should see the Venue Magic icon on the desktop. Double click on the icon to open Venue Magic. When Venue Magic is run for the first time, it will take you through the registration process. If you only want to run the 15 day free trial, click No, then click Yes to activate the trial. If you do wish to register and have received your eight digit registration code, click Yes, then click Next. In this field, enter your eight digit registration code and click Next. At this point, verify that your computer is connected to the internet. If you need to register from a computer that does not have internet access, please contact Venue Magic Support for assistance. Click Next, then fill out the registration information on this page, and click Register Now. If the eight digit registration code you entered is valid, you will see this window. Close this window and Venue Magic will start up. The first time you run Venue Magic after registering, you'll be asked if you'd like to check for updates. If you've just recently downloaded Venue Magic, chances are there will not be an update available. However, it's always a good idea to check by clicking yes. But first, check this box so that the message doesn't come up again the next time you run Venue Magic. You can check for updates later on by selecting Help, Check for Updates. This is how Venue Magic looks when first run. I'm going to take just a few moments to mention a few components that will be covered in more detail later on. This is the project window. It contains all the elements that can go into your show. This is the timeline editor, where you can edit any number of timelines that make up your Venue Magic project. Designing a show mainly involves dragging things from the project window into the timeline editor. Down here is a list of currently open project files. In this panel are cue buttons which can be programmed to do things like run timelines. This list shows and controls currently running timelines. In the videos that follow, I'll show you how all of these components work together to help you create your Venue Magic show.